All right, guys, in today's video, we are here to talk about Genius Brands. That's right, ticker symbol GNUS. One of my favorite penny stocks out there. I am long on this one, guys. I don't care what happens in the short term. This one I plan on holding for a while. And in today's video, I want to bring this uh, piece up on Reddit. Uh, it's a very interesting email that this uh, person received from Investor Relations from Genius Brands. So, we're going to cover this article talking about Andy Hayward in this letter, and it's pretty interesting to say the least. Um, so as you can see over here, the five-day chart, Genius Brands is up 9.5%. Uh, now, we did have that big spike back here when we went up to about, what was that, 91 cents, and now it's sold off. Uh, that news, guys, came from the Marvel deal. If you want to know more about the Marvel deal and how huge that is, that Marvel slash Disney deal, uh, go check out my last video on Genius Brands. I'll put that as the pinned comment. Uh, so that way you can go catch up to date with what the Marvel uh, Genius Brands Disney deal is. Also, Andy Hayward had an interview out today. I have not yet got to watch it because, you know, this life's busy. But I'm going to try to get a hold of that interview. And I got to put the Bazinga. He had an interview on Bazinga. And I got to get the interview of him here on Cheddar as well. So we got to get both those on the channel. That'll be what I'm working on next. All right. Here's the article, guys. Uh, posted here by, I'm going to give a shout out to this individual, Genius Brands Insider. He posted this one day ago, and he got this email here. I'm going to zoom this in and make sure I'm not blocking anything. And no, we're not perfect. All right, so this here says, when Andy said 3, 6, and 9, he seriously meant 3, 6, and 9. So he blocked out his information here. As you can see, this Natalia Rudman, uh, Senior Vice President of Market Intelligence. That's who he got this email from, Handling Genius Brands um, Investor Relations. So not sure if you saw my previous email. Genius Brands has until March 31st to file the 10K. Here it says, we are moving ahead with the WOW acquisition, which is subject to certain closing conditions provided here. Yes, everything is on track for Shaq's Garage and we expect to provide updates shortly. The company has not implemented a buyback at this stage, but the company will continue to consider all options to maximize shareholder value. We will provide updates on SHK and Rainbow Ranger toys as soon as practical. And this is some juicy stuff getting into this part of the email, guys. Uh, now we know from the Bazinga interview, um, Andy says the company wasn't focusing on share buybacks right now. I was hoping we were focused on share buybacks, but uh, they're hoping to actually put the money to use. That's what they're looking to do here. Um, Andy Hayward has not sold a single share of Genius stock in the history of the company. Guys, that is freaking bullish. Uh, if you have a CEO of a company that has not sold a single share, that is bullish. Very, very bullish, guys, so keep that in mind. Um, here it says, he has filed a 10B 5-1 plan with the SEC, giving him the ability to sell only a portion of his shares automatically. So it's kind of like he's going to pay himself if he gets the company to a certain level, and I respect that. He's saying, I'm not selling my shares down here at 70 cents where it's at right now. I won't sell my first set of shares till this hits $3. And here it says, giving him the ability to sell a portion of his shares automatically beginning when the stock reaches $3 a share and in various trenches up to $9 a share. So he is 100% aligned with shareholders. He has not sold any shares to this point. As you can see, the prices in the plan are substantially, uh, substantially above current market prices. We have many exciting initiatives in the works and we remain committed to driving shareholder value in the months in years to come that is just like bullish 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 guys um you got a ceo out here already filed his documents so he's being as transparent as he can be it's automatically set up it's like no different than me and you we buy a thousand shares or something just an example and we set those sell limit orders so we could set 100 shares at two dollars 100 shares at three dollars and 100 shares each dollar it goes up we could do that well, that's what Andy has went ahead and did. And I love that from the CEO that has disclosed that. He's very transparent and he's letting the investor relations kind of let us retail investors know 
what his plan is. I'm sure Andy's getting up there in age. He's getting close to retirement. And if he's busting his butt, bringing the company up to where it needs, he should be rewarded to pay himself with the stock price at certain prices because he built the company up. He could sell them out, take some money for his family, and it'll be gobbled up because he's built the company out to be established at that point. So I just really wanted to drive that home uh, that I think is very bullish. Uh, if we can see the stock at the $3, now this stock has tested $3 uh, multiple times since I've been covering it. I believe I've been covering it since about, uh, I've been kind of following this, I'm going to say, since March or April of 2020. So over two years, uh, I've been covering this stock. Now, ever since the big decline on Genius Brands, I've seen this stock test $3 a couple times. And every time it hits $3, it plummets back down. Now, in this kind of market, that's completely understandable because everything is plummeted. There's really not much stocks out there. Uh, everything is plummeted in this market except maybe uh, oil and gas. That's about the only thing that has uh, you can see a big uh, green candle on is oil and gas right now in this current market. So, yeah, uh, huge things out here, like I said, to uh, this was... Um, you winner 2047 so yeah that is pretty amazing and like i said here looking at the chart you can see we did get down we got the 72 cents in the regular trading hours we did get a little bit back after hours guys we're setting at 230 230 million dollar market cap i don't know how we're setting it honestly if it wouldn't be for this bear market we should be a heck of a lot higher than that guys just the marvel and disney deal alone uh should be worth more than that and i can't wait for the next genius brands earnings because andy has said that's when we're going to see uh the deal from disney and marvel in the earnings because he can't disclose he was paid amount of money up front and we're also getting royalties guys royalties which is great every time disney uses it every time disney gets a sale or marvel sales marvel gets a you know an advertisement we're going to get a cut of that and we're going to see that money rolling in 20 years of that guys 20 years that is like amazing disney's not going nowhere they're going to be promoting our stuff for 20 years with stanley's name and likeness and all that good stuff um like i said go check out the other video uh we talk about the marvel deal we go over it very well um like i said i'm gonna work on next getting that bazinga interview on the channel and i got to find this cheddar interview with andy as well because I want to get all the information from Andy himself as he's talking on the channel. So we have that documentation. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed today's video. And if you love Genius Brands, man, give a thumbs up. Helps the momentum of the Genius Brands videos. Give a thumbs up so more people see this. More people get aware of it. And I will catch you all in the next video, guys. Peace. <laughs>